Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Ixion episode 7. I have had some difficulties keeping the ship intact, keeping the crew trusting me in episode 6. So I'm learning from my mistakes in that episode, and I'm going to do better this time around. I have played through quite a few cycles relative to the end of episode 5, because it's turning into this weird alternative timeline, essentially, where episode 6 kind of didn't happen because I loaded the save from the end of episode 5. So, if you have watched 5 and haven't watched 6, you can just kind of skip that. Anyway, the situation is as such, I am working on getting as many resources from this system as possible. Before we start with today's episode, first you're going to need to get well dressed, because apparel in space is important. I mean, the guys in Star Trek, Star Wars, they always look great. And Graphene X is today's sponsor. I personally wear this brand, I really like it. I have the all-rounder polo shirt, and I also have a couple of the long sleeve and short sleeve shirts. These things are very comfortable, and they're laced with graphene. Now, graphene is, as they say, cutting edge, because it is, um, well, it has a couple of properties that you just don't see in a lot of other clothing. It's moist wicking, so it really quickly gets rid of your perspiration, and on top of that, it's antibacterial, these things simply don't smell. Uh, they're a mix between sportswear, casual wear, uh, perfect for me, like a person who sits indoors, uh, but also excellent if you're more active. I've seen these things used as tennis shirts, for example, but also in a boardroom, if you just want to look a little more casual. If you enter the code STEALTH on checkout, you get a 10% discount. Highly recommend you check them out. Link down below in the description. Get well dressed, and then you can board the Tycoon. Thank you for boarding. I'm slowly but steadily repurposing things on the Tycoon, such as having built out the complete crop farm, and I have an additional cargo ship bringing in additional ice to Docking Bay Houston. Um, I think that the devs have pulled a little something on the names of the ships, because one of my cargo ships is now called Santa's Sleigh. Okay, um, <laughs> I like it, we're going to stick to it. I am researching additional tech all the time, and as my tech lab has now been updated, it's going to get me three research every five cycles. So it is generating a little bit here and there, but I'm definitely more reliant on what I can find out here. I've already completed the mystery, if you will, at Plymouth 37 and the one at Rokantansky. Uh, there's still something on Parenti 85. Um, I believe that there's still something out there. So, uh, we're definitely doing quite a lot better relative to previous time. There is still a lot that needs to be updated. I would ideally have a bigger docking platform here, or potentially just a whole other docking bay, to allow me to park the rat somewhere else, and get an additional cargo ship in here, as well as the additional steel mill that I've kind of always wanted. I do have the room if I just demolish this road, the problem is, I don't really have enough resources coming in to warrant the construction of such a building. Because yes, there is definitely... where's the fleet? There's definitely enough iron to pick up. But the ship isn't that fast. So yes, I can bring it with me. And the ship is consistently bringing in additional iron every shipment. But this mill is running at pretty high efficiency. So it's not like I really need a second steel mill right now. Also considering hull integrity is quite good. And I have set up the waste treatment center. I can also get 50 waste transferred into 50 alloys. So that ideally will also allow me to build up more alloy supply. What I'm going to try and build next is the electronics factory. It's going to cost 110. It's also going to cost 30 power, which I have, but it's starting to cut it close. And with this, I'll be able to turn the silicon that I have, there's not that much of it, into electronics. Because as opposed to some previous episodes, now I absolutely do not have any silicon or any electronics left. So finding additional silicon definitely would be nice to have. And very good. Right there. So that's probably going to fuel my electronics adventures for a while longer. And as that's going on, let's collect the science from Valiant 71. Let's invest that science into something useful. I have researched the colonization training center, so I'm able to start training my colonists. 
but this thing eats electronics for breakfast, so it's not something I'm going to really be able to build right now. Or, well, I can probably build it right now, it's just not going to be very efficient to do that. Let's continue researching all the Tech 3s, or the Tier 3 Tech, so Fire Station is next. Really hoping I don't need it in a rush, but, well, you never know. Uh, the situation might be such that perhaps I do need that fire station sooner than I might like. Um, I would like to have a bit more when it comes to food. So let's say 50. And let's say 50 over there. That's fine. I can store more. And this farm is producing a lot. It's producing 11 per cycle. So that over the whole station, I generally have enough. There's still 95 stocked over there, and that's plus the storage here, plus the storage from... Oh, sorry, into the mess hall. I should still have some supplies over there, so we're fine. Now, I have not explored Valiant 71 yet, so let's have a look. The planet Valiant is dead and devoid of, any, of activity of any kind. However, our scans have located the remains of a ship in orbit of the planet. The wreck of the UN warship Huizinga, that's a, definitely a Dutch boat, Orbits Valiant 71. In a twist of fate, it seems that after hunting down Dolos survivors, it fell to something even more dangerous than itself. We have visual on a cluster of UN emergency cryopods drifting towards Valiant 71. If we don't interfere, or sorry, if we don't intervene, they'll enter the planet's atmosphere and be incinerated. Um, this is a tricky one. I can bring these people in. I don't really have the storage for additional cryopods. Nor do I really have the desire to thaw out a lot more people. I can just discard these. So these two options I can discard. I can say, you know what? <laughs> we cannot forgive the action that the housing had took against Dolos. And we will not attempt to recover the cryopods. Instead, we'll focus on stripping the wreck of any salvageable materials. Or, I can just analyze it, and gain a better understanding of the ship's capabilities. Um, this might be interesting, but right now, I think materials are my first priority. As for whether or not it is important to recover the cryopods... At this point, I don't strictly believe I'm an employee of Dolos anymore, because Dolos doesn't exist. The whole company got wiped out, either by the UN itself, or by the aftermath of the Lunar Clism. So, I'm not exactly feeling a lot of loyalty towards Dolos. I'm much more feeling um, an alliance or the loyalty to humanity as itself. Because, based on what happened, I think we're going to need all the humans we can get. So... I hope the housing hut doesn't drift out of position, that I can actually recover the closest cryopods. Um, yeah. To reduce any risk of endangering the professor and its crew. The professor's the science shit. The professor's not some sort of NPC. I can also attempt to recover all of them, but I do not want the professor to go into Valiant 71's atmosphere. No. We're going to try to recover the closest ones. And ideally, bring those back aboard. Because like I said, we're probably going to need all the humans we can get. Now, the Protagoras is still looming like this massive resource dump that it's going to be. It needs 100 alloys and it needs 60 polymer. I'm actually pretty close to those requirements. Especially with that waste treatment plant coming online. So that's definitely a good step in the right direction. As for the other one, 100 alloys and 100 food, that's potentially a little harder. Because I don't really know if I can actually make that happen. Also, the people in Sector 2 aren't strictly happy with me. The stability is low. The crew trust is still increasing, but by very little. So if I can give these guys a general stability building, that'd be great but not without electronics. So, electronics factory is going to be the prime objective right now. Um, this thing takes up a ton of space. And right now it doesn't really fit anywhere in that sector, so I guess we're going to have to move it here. Um, hmm. 
thing is, it also generates a fair bit of waste. So, I could make the case for just dropping it off here. Because that's fairly close to the waste treatment center. And relocating the probe launcher. So, relocating the probe launcher there. That way, I can set that whole factory up over here. So, let's not auto-build one. Let's throw out an additional probe. And see if we can find anything useful. How much silicon was there? Never mind. I'll look into that in a minute. Uh, medium resources. Any high resources anywhere? There's a fair bit of carbon out there, but I believe I still have some carbon to mine. Iron is always welcome. Yes, thank you. There. Right there. Okay. So, with the probe out, there she goes. What's the other probe? I can now dismantle this building. And let's see a what we find here. Has completed a task. This is easier. 274. Okay. So that's about, with my current supply, six electronics. I like that. That's really good. Okay, Valiant 71. As the professor was retrieving cryopods, a volley of telluric bodies that were orbiting 71 hit the science ship. Fortunately, no, si no damage was done. The cryopods have been prepared for extraction. Okay, so that's done. Um, shit, I cannot actually get any resources from that UN ship. Which I really would have loved. I mean, look at the size of the cryopods relative to the rest of the ship. It's probably a gold mine of resources there. But that's a no joy. I cannot do that. Alright, Prof. Um, you're gonna go to Parenti 85. There's another 30 signs to be had there, so let's go pick that up. Food is really looking quite well. 8.4 per 5 cycles. That's excellent. You can implement a new policy. Okay, I can set a new policy. That's nice, but that's not something I really want to do right now. Uh, that's for space stuff. I want to have a probe launcher. Yeah, just there. And then we're going to have the road built around it. There. Okay, so that's the new probe launcher. No, I didn't want to leave the interior. And this one's going to get demolished. How are we doing for... Oh, sorry, this one's getting built. This one's getting demolished. Probes have completed scans. Perfect. So how much did we get? Was it here? 51. Oh, we still got Chevy 34. The Ice Giant. In order to get that through that ice giant, I require that deep dive apparatus. So let's go and get that. Um, currently researching the fire station, but I think the deep dive apparatus might actually get me more science. At least that's the hope. So the professor is going to go to Parenti 85, use the research that's over there to research the next device. And with that, we're going to go to Chevy 34 and figure out what other science we can grab from there. Okay, let's see. Time to put up... I constantly keep zooming out too much. Let's go put up that electronics plant. Right there. Just put it on the edge. I don't like how I set this sector up. It's a bit of a mess when it comes to roads and basically everything else. So if I can at some point clean up this sector, I would love to do that. I mean, this road does not need to be here. Uh, this part does need a road. Just doesn't need a whole lot of it. This road does need to be here to acquire access to these things. So that's good. Okay. Resources in the sector. Look at that. There's 1177 ice to mine. That should allow me to keep going with food for a long, long, long time. Silicon... Carbon, iron, there is a lot of An everything. An accident has occurred in the Tycoon. What's happening on the Tycoon? Docking bay's been damaged. I would very much appreciate an upgrade to the workshop that just auto-fixes things. So that I don't have to do that manually anymore, because it's a bit of a hassle. Um, it is what we have right now, though. I don't have the science to do it, so we'll just have to make do with what we do have. Okay, the probe launcher is coming online. With the amount of resources that I have right now, and that I know where to find, I feel very comfortable. 
So I don't feel like I strictly need to start sending out probes all the time. I think it's going fairly well. Okay, it looks like the professor has arrived, judging by the sudden boost in research income. So that's the deep dive apparatus done. Continue on the fire station. Let's see, Parenti 85. Several sensors have recorded contradictory readings relating to the Coriolis effect on Parenti 85. This is the crude professor. We have entered Parenti 85's atmosphere. Equipment has been deployed, but the gravity of the planet may complicate our operations. Visibility is nil. Atmospheric corrosive factors are negligible. Okay, so I can release microprobes for polymers, which I have a lot of. Uh, I can establish a weather station. I can set up an advanced infrastructure for meteorological analysis simulation. Uh, no, I don't want to spend all the alloys just now. I just want to get the polymers. So let's get you and send Santa Slay out there and deliver some gifts to the professor. I think that might be applicable to our current situation. Now, when it comes to working conditions, I have plenty of workers and uh, this plant's going to take 30. Yeah, 30. So we're fine. With all my newfound polymer wealth, I should also be able to get another solar panel online if I had electronics. But that should start getting resolved, considering this thing is coming online. A sector is being overworked. Oh yeah. Yeah, this one. <clears throat> this is not very good. We need a bunch of workers transferred. So, let's get some workers from here. Jump over to the other sector, please. Workers only. Uh, 30 commence your migration. It does mean that we're going to definitely need more housing here. Because the amount of housing right now is kind of lackluster. Mm, no, I'm not going to go for the cell housing. Can I squeeze in a decent living quarters anywhere? <laughs> yeah, no, that's a great spot. They just will never be able to get there. Um... The crew's trust in your leadership is falling. How's that? Because they're pissed off. Homelessness over 25%. Yeah, this needs to get prioritized. I need to start fixing this before I run into bigger issues. Complete. Okay, Parenti 85. Should be coming online quickly. The resources, sorry, the, res the, the, the crew has been transferred, so we're not as bad anymore. Trust is not falling, whole integrity is decent. Yeah, pretty good. I think that by now we'd have enough. Oh, it's because this thing doesn't have a, a middle ground, is it? Yeah, that's it. Wow. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> okay. What? Santa Slay has been destroyed? Oh my god. By a weather event of all things. Well, that's going to be the title of this video. Um, 45 research. Very nice. Micro probe analysis allowed our team to establish new theories about the impact of electro electromagnetic fields on, centrip bleh, on centripetal forces. It just cost me a sign, no, a cargo ship. So let's go build a new cargo ship. Yeah, <laughs> now it's just called the Bulwark. Can I still rename those? I believe that there was a way, but I don't exactly know how. I mean, I can unassign one of these ships, but I don't know how to rename it. Okay, it's fine. <clears throat> Wait, you're coming out of Bay 1? No, 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 no. no. You're going to stick to Bay 1 then. Because I had this thing set up to be pretty effective. Yeah, okay. We got one mining ship, but I believe I actually have two. Hmm... Come on, stop messing about. Go to the fleet manager. No, to the dock manager. Unassign this. Oh, right. Sorry. 
The rest are all assigned. My bad. Okay. The professor... No, dude. Dude. No. Come around. Okay, fire station's been researched. That's excellent, because I think that's the last one that I needed from that tier. <laughs> Close enough. There's still two more. Legislative strengthening center. Plus two stability when it has a stability below zero. And the mushroom wall. Which converts food into... Or waste into food. I don't really feel like I need that. Because I already got the farms. The big farms. Um... Upgrades to cargo ships. Let's go for the improvised repair protocol, so they are more likely to endure dangerous weather events. Because there seems to be no shortage of dangerous weather events over here. And that is where we're sending the ship. Uh, I need you to go here first, Professor, and then we're going to go to Chevy 34. And eventually we get this done. Is this thing built? It is built. Yes. And we don't have enough. Now we do. Wow, this road is inefficient. <clears throat> They're coming from here, going all the way around, and then eventually ending up at the right site. Yeah. <clears throat> let's not. Let's do it like this. And let's start telling that additional ship to also pick up silicon. Much more of a priority right now. So you also need to start mining silicon... I still st I kind of need everything. It's just that ice, I feel right now, is not that much of a priority. Because we got to... Yeah, we got to have supply of water. It's fine. All right. Can we please have this thing not die? Come on. Yeah, there. So from Delta 79, I can now go to Chevy 34 without running into the weather. Cool. Okay, so we're finally making our own electronics. I'm making my own polymers, I'm making my own alloys, and I'm making my own electronics. I think this is a win. And I'm also turning my waste into additional polymers. Yeah, no, of course it has. I'll fix that shit. 70% research done. Excellent. We still need a bit more to make those cargo ships safer. Because this guy just traveled through a storm. It wasn't very long, but it doesn't need to be very long in order to still be potentially very deadly. Oh, I didn't send the autoprobe back online. Wow, I got a lot of polymers now. Excellent. Okay, go build me a probe. The science ship has arrived at its destination. And what's at Chevy 34? Our probe has detected an abnormally high concentration of metal isotopes within Chevy 34's core. We've reached the core of Chevy 34. Metallic and prismatic formations rise from its surface. Reaching impressive heights, they disappear into the gaseous atmosphere. Some are surrounded and spanned by geometric rock clusters, accumulated during the slow growth process of the formations. They shear the winds that sweep across Chevy 34's core. Right, so what do we do with this thing? Uh, intrusive analysis, because of course we got explosives. Detonating strategically placed explosive charges will provide samples for collection with minimal effort. Not subtle, but I can do it quickly. Or I can start pouring research or pouring resources into it. Um, let's go for the, the boom boom. How much is there available for pickup? A lot. A lot. Okay. Oh, this whole second ship's not doing anything. That is not good. Uh, yeah. I'm going to tell it to go for iron. For now, it's just that I don't know if I have a supply depot for that. Yeah, I do not. Ah, the fire station's been built. Wow, that's big. Okay. I hope that does work across sectors as well. Because I don't really... No, let me rephrase. I really do not want to build one of those for every sector. There's still 13 the science there. Okay, first get the science. Then get the pop-up before the science ship gets destroyed. Ah, I got my electronic. Perfect. Let's go and build the solar panel. 
Uh, yeah, I think that's the cheapest one. That is far more expensive. Get this. We got the science. We got the science. Analysis of samples from the core allowed our team to draw new conclusions about the arrangements and formations of the metallic elements. 30 science. Excellent. Let's go. While preparing to depart Chevy 34, the professor's captain received an alert from a crew member saying that they had spotted a gigantic molluscoid near their position. Um, send a small expedition out to the supposed location of the life form? Yeah. Let's go. <clears throat> there might be more. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Oh. The peasants want now. I mean, what does the crew want? Uh, the crew lives in anguish, having spent too long in a planetary system unsuited to our ongoing objectives, resulting in an increase in the severity of dead earth sickness. Clay and Munchie algorithms suggest that the tycoon must continually progress in its mission if the sickness is to be kept under control. Yeah, lovely. So this is getting uh, increasingly bad. Spending too long in the system is a minus one. I am losing a lot of trust right now. I believe I can still somewhat countermand that by giving them a more generous amount of food. Because right now I feel like I can. It's just going to be a question of how long can I keep up with that before I have to build a second farm. Because at this rate, I am going to churn through my food a lot faster than I would generally like. Okay, get the food, a get the science, science first. Has completed a Perfect. Task. Another probe available. There's still more science for pick. Oh, there's a lot of iron for pickup. That's nice. Let's go there. I mean, we're currently not short on any resources, I feel. Silicon would be nice to get a bit more. Um, yeah, just carry on. Okay, you got the science? Almost. Welcome in. Yeah, but I thought we were building out a new exterior construction. Like a new panel. There, we got juice. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Problematic. We need two active mess holes, not one. Yeah, that sounds like a deal. It means I don't have to spend on an additional mess hole here. Please get this researched and be quick about it, because otherwise the crew is going to be really pissed off. What? Oh, right. I think that due to being very lenient in the amount of food that I'm giving them, there simply aren't enough tables to serve everybody. So let's make sure that this thing gets upgraded and usable. Alright, so what's happened here? Upon nearing the location, it appears that what the crew member had actually observed was an unusually shaped... <sighs> okay. It was a bit of a waste of time. They just found a fancy-looking rock. Alright, more science, please. Yep, there's something out there. There. And there's an objective as well. Oh, why is my trust falling this badly? Is that because of the food? Go on. Research this, quickly. A probe has completed its scan. 41 people are starving. Why? That's not what I want. I'm gonna prioritize my income for polymers a bit more. Oh, sorry, silicon. Because I feel that without it, I might not have enough. I do need to find an additional electronic somewhere so I can start building stability buildings. Because this is just a flat-out one bonus. And they generally fit there quite well. Um, how is it possible that we're starving? I believe that they are going to get fed, because now we do have enough. 
holy crap, just not for a very long time. That's for sure. Um, water's good. Let's go for an additional farm. Because I don't trust this to go well for very long. Um, how am I going to do this? Let's set up a road first. That's not good. DLS center has been damaged. Where do I set up the additional crop farm? This building is not very well placed. <clears throat> probably need to relocate it. These things can also probably be set up somewhere else where they're more efficient. Uh, you, ooh, you got a lot of iron. It's just that it's not properly set. Okay, so you need to have as little iron as possible. Sector 1 needs to get all of it. There, start bringing that stuff out. I don't like that you need one of these, let's say, gateway platforms. And by that I mean you need to have one of these stockpiles so that you can actually draw it from here to there. What? Okay, so that's what we found. Interesting. Now, please start eating, because I cannot survive a 3.4 trust decay for very long. So eat, right? Go about your business, come on. There we go. We're getting a 1.4 back, excellent. All right, what are my cargo ships up to? What are they currently working on? You're inbound with silicon, good man. You're inbound with iron, you're in abound retrieving iron. Perfect. Okay then. What did we find here in Deville 59? Prof, go check it out. And I suppose that's... No, I want stability buildings first. I want to go for that colonist building eventually, but seeing as this thing takes four electronics, it's pretty expensive. Let's see, based on the amount of resources that are currently out here, I mean, this is four electronics, four and change. So if I can find additional silicon packs, that'd be lovely. Um, I can probably swap out this to go for that, which is almost completed. It's not a lot, it's just one electronic. But I'm starting to very much value the amount of stability that I am potentially going to get in this sector. Boom. Okay. Stability. This is a plus one. That's a plus one. I don't believe I have specializations, right? Uh, that's the policy thing. Ah! Oh, industry. Batteries last longer. Sector 2 doesn't have a specialization. Oh, you gotta have buildings of the same type. Probably because it's all factories. Got it. Okay. Let's give him a stability building. Set up a road. And I might be able to house additional people over there. There's one without quarters. That's pretty good. Additional silicon. Need to have an in-between here as well. That's gonna be silicon. There's 30 silicon there, there's zero silicon there, yeah. Ah, Deville 59, tell me. Pick up the research first. Done. Anything I can research quickly that'll help me with, well, everything? Because we were working on the cargo ships. That's been done. Um, I might do the same thing for my science ships. Because the science ships also have this ability to get better... Um, no? What? Oh. I thought the science ships also had the ability to get, let's say, a whole strengthening upgrade. Turns out they do not. The mining ships do. Self-welding. That's 40 research. That's quite a lot. Let's upgrade the crew quarters and get those bigger 
more efficient crew quarters instead. Over here... Yeah, I want to balance my food out a bit more. Uh, make it at least 60. Or let's say 70 even, because this, I think, is pretty much my biggest sector right now. I need to balance the silicon as well. So this thing is going to have minimum. No, sorry, maximum. This thing's going to have minimum. Being emptied, perfect. Drop it off there, please. They're going to drop it off here, and then there. Good. Okay, science picked up. What is the Hill 59? It's eligible for colonization testing. Data collection will help shape future Dolos initiatives. We've landed on the Ville 59. Despite the cold and harsh environment of the planet, the atmospheric conditions and gravity are remarkably similar to Earth's. There are large bodies of frozen water on the planet's surface. That's really good. Um... <laughs> sure. You want me to have 30 columns here? Basic Nikon colony infrastructure prepares potential colonists for life in new ecosystems. Simple physiological and psychological evaluations are conducted within local environments, providing useful field data to refine DOLOS colonization protocols. Or advanced, providing invaluable field data. So I need 60 colonists and I need a lot of resources. I will come back later when I'm better prepared to tackle a threat, well, not a threat, a project like that. Where... Holy crap, everything's here. Come on, where's the science? There. Off you go. We're gonna visit DeVille 59 later. For now, I just wanna have the stability building online. I wanna start getting that stability steady, so that even if I go back to giving these people less food, I'll not instantly have everything crash. You can implement a new policy. Because if I don't give them a lot of food, it's going to go back to zero stability. So, minus one, effectively. Working conditions are fantastic. Yeah, I think we're doing quite well. Do I also have the additional... Yep, there it is. Crew quarters. So I could put that there. Uh, it's just that I don't have any homelessness here. <clears throat> That's kind of useful. Um, yeah, we're going to tear these down. And this is temporarily going to give me a pretty hefty uh, debuff. But I want to have this new building here. Come on, break it down. Is that holding 40 crew? Take it down. Thank you. Hi, Pryo. Get that bigger block online. And that'll allow me to house 40 colonists, which will instantly take this down to 12. 12 homeless. That's excellent. Okay, so what else did we find in here? Tatra V8. Prof. The professor sure gets around. That thing has seen a lot of this sector already. All right. Um, what else can we find? Loads of resources. There's a ton of ice over there somewhere. There's a ton of car- oh, there's a ton of everything. Yeah, I'll take this spot. Thank you very much. Okay, so this thing still needs more polars. Go on, get me the polymers that I need. Oh, sorry, not polymers. Alloys. Be quick about it. Please. These people are not going to be particularly happy about the situation here. Ah, this thing's online. Excellent. I can give 35 research if I have tier 3 unlocked. An additional one stability while it has more than 400 crew. Or perpetual motivation, additional plus one if it has more than 800 crew. Holy crap, that's a lot. Now, can I build different stability or the same stability buildings in other sectors? No. That's unfortunate because if I could, 
that would allow me to start building these things everywhere and just upgrade the one. So, of course, that's not possible. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. What's up, then? What's your request? A side ship has arrived at its destination. I remember feel that the quality of life is important to you. That their quality of life is important to you. The fact that they have had that you've had time to provide them with entertainment alongside your numerous responsibilities has led them to believe that you are, in fact, not human. <laughs> is that good? <laughs> Perhaps instead of a new generation PA or a genetically superior being, we know that this is nonsense. Okay. Ah, that's cool. Thank you. All right. Guys, I'm going to leave you guys here, and uh, we're next episode, we're going to continue with this adventure. It's a lot better than what it is doing in episode 6. Uh, there are lots of things that I still need to pursue. And with the resources that are available, as well as the amount of ships that I have, I think we can get a really, fairly stable condition going for the Tycoon. So join me next time for more of the Tycoon's adventures. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you soon for more.